What's going on guys and today we have episode 7 of my transfer rumor series Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far You have been smashing the likes on it We've hit over 20 likes on the last couple of episodes So I thank you guys so much for that And I'm getting over 100 views on the majority of these videos now So it's just incredible guys and I hope that you can continue your support We've got a lot of players in today's episode I believe we've got the most I've done so far I think I have 13 players to go through. Um, I actually had more than that, but I don't want to make it too long a video, so they will be in tomorrow's episode. But we're going to go into the first one is Dimitri Payet, of course, currently at West Ham. He's been linked to Inter Milan for £38 million. Of course, he's been linked to Real Madrid, all these big teams as well, PSG, I think, as well. And I'm going to give it a room rating of 3. I think it's not likely to happen. I mean, West Ham, I would say, are a better club than Inter Milan. Um, it'll probably get paid more at West Ham as well, so I can't really see why he would move. Uh, West Ham, though, considering it's 38 million, it is quite a lot, but do they really need that when they are getting paid a lot for um, kind of sponsorships and deals and all that to do with um, the BPL being on TV next year? They don't need the money. And I don't think they will sell Dimitri Payet. We're then going to go into Sissoko of um, Newcastle at the moment. I think he will leave. Uh, Spurs are, have been linked with him. So have Liverpool and somebody else. I think it's Dortmund have been linked with him as well. 21 to 25 million is the asking price. They've bidded 21 million apparently Spurs. And uh, Newcastle, Newcastle have said that they want 25 million. Rumour rating of 6, I'm going to give it because it could go either way. I think it's more likely to go towards him joining another team. He is going to move, I would say, anyway because he doesn't really want to be in the Championship, of course. He is a world-class player, um, or maybe not quite world-class, but he is a very good player that's been playing in the Euros. And I'm also going to give him an 8 for the transfer rating because it would be a very good transfer for Spurs. We then go into Blaise Matuidi. He had, was given permission to leave the France camp a couple of days ago to travel to Manchester, apparently, to try and get this deal done. 21 million is the asking price, it's an absolute bargain. If they can get him for that, it'll be absolutely incredible. Rumour rating of 8, I think it is likely to happen because, of course, he has been um, travelling to Manchester and things like that. And a transfer rating of 10 as well. I think this would be one of the best transfers in the BPL this year. Um, and it's just like, it'll be a quality, quality transfer. Of course, they'll get, try to get Pogba as well. So I don't know if they want to get both of them. It'll be interesting to see how that kind um, of escalates and how that folds out in the coming days and weeks. We then go into Andre Gomez, who has been linked heavily, and I mean really heavily, with Chelsea. Antonio Conte says he does want to bring um, Andre Gomez to the club, and it'll be interesting to see if he actually does go with that and bring him to Chelsea. Of course, he is currently playing for Valencia. £40 million, though, is the price tag. Quite a hefty fee for a guy that has only really made a name for himself in the last season or so. Um, and I remember of four. I, I think it's unlikely to happen because of the price tag. I don't know if An An Antonio Conte will want to pay that much for a player like Andre Gomez. But I'm also going to have a transfer rating of eight because if it does happen, it will be a very, very good transfer for both him and Chelsea in general. We then go on to Jordan Ibe, who could be joining Liverpool in the next couple of days. Apparently, the bid has been... Um, I'm not too sure if it's been accepted. There was rumours that it's been accepted, but that was in the, like, the Sun, or not the Sun, but some set of newspaper. Uh, so I don't know how true that is. It hasn't been confirmed in Sky Sports or anything that has been successful, uh, accepted. Sorry, accepted. I can't even speak now. So I'm going to give a rumour rating of 7 for that reason. I think it's likely to happen, but just I'm not going to put it too high yet, just in case it doesn't. And also transfer rating of 8, as it would be a very good deal for £15 million. We then go on to um, Benucci, who has... There was an offer sent to Juventus of £38 million um, from Manchester City, which they did um, reject, which I'm sad to hear. I really would like to see Benucci. I think he's one of the best centre-backs in world football at the moment. Um, but they have, apparently, they're about to send a new deal of £43 million. It could rise to £50 million, depending on how much they're willing to pay and how much Guardiola wants this guy. Um, Juventus, of course, is a call a current club and I don't know if he wants to leave he's been linked to Chelsea as well because of that Antonio Conte and Italy thing I'm going to give a room rating of 5 and a transfer rating of 10 then we go on to a confirmed one or an almost confirmed one it's supposed to be confirmed today it is Musa going to Leicester I added this into a couple of episodes ago and it looks as if it is going to be confirmed today £50 million is the price tag I think it's a bargain absolute bargain he is very good of what I've seen of him in Champions League and stuff at CSK Moscow. Rumour rating of 10, as he's just 
about to complete the deal today, or that is what Sky Sports sources are telling us, and also a transfer rating of 10, I think would be very, very good for Leicester next season, and they really need these players to kind of continue their form from last season into this season, as teams will sort of um, begin to kind of uh, find them out and stuff like that, they won't be able to use the exact same squad, they'll have to make improvements, and that's what they seem to be wanting to do. We then go into Victor Valdez, this is another confirmed transfer, he is moving to Middlesbrough, it has been confirmed, pictures and everything um, of him holding the Middlesbrough strip, of course, he was at Standard Liège last season on loan from Manchester United and they have um, let him go for free to Middlesbrough. It's a very good deal in my opinion. Rumour rating of 10 because uh, it has been confirmed and a transfer rating of 8.5. You can't complain. You've got a keeper that used to be one of the best in the world for free. You just can't complain. It's a bit like the Mandanda deal to Crystal Palace. It's a very, very good deal for free. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how well he actually does now. Because he hasn't had a lot of game time in the last couple of years at big clubs. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how he does at Middlesbrough. Then going to Draxler, who has, um, of course, been doing very well in the Euros. They just get put out last night. But Arsenal have sent a €50 million Euro, um, bid to Wolfsburg to sign this guy. It's a lot of money, it's roughly about, I'd say, 42 million, something like that, 42 million pounds, um, and is he worth it? I'm not too sure, I've not seen enough of him in the Euros, he has been good what I've seen of him, but I don't know if he will be worth roughly 50 million euros. Rumour rating of 8, because it was ESPN that did announce this, and they are normally quite correct, they don't make up stuff like some of the newspapers do, so it looks as if it could be quite legitimate, and we also have a transfer rating of 9, I think this would be a very, very good deal for um, Arsenal if this did in fact go through. Then going to wish Naldo of currently Newcastle who could be signing for Spurs for £25 million. Spurs have showed their interest in him. Newcastle have came back and said they want £25 million for the Dutch international. It's a room rating of 6. I think it's I think he will leave the same as kind of like Sissoko. They're both probably a bit too good for the championship. I think it will leave. I just don't know if it will be to Spurs. It depends if they want to pay this £25 million t uh, price tag that Newcastle have slapped on them. Also, a transfer rating of 8, I think it would be a, a pretty decent deal as Spurs could get him. I don't know how much he would play um, with certain players they've got in the squad at the moment, but I think when he did play, he would be a very, very good player and a very good um, kind of impact player to come onto the field. We then go into a loan deal. The first loan deal I believe I've done this series, and I've, I've done over like 50 players in this series, so this is this is incredible. This is the first loan deal. It is Torre, or Tor, however you want to say it. I'm going to call him Torre. He has moved from Besiktas to West Ham on loan. What I've seen of Torre is... He's, he's, I've not really seen much of him. Um, I've seen a few clips of him. He looks like a decent winger. Um, who's who's he's fast. When I've seen him, he has been pretty fast. Good, uh, quick feet and stuff like that as well. I'm gonna give a rumor rate, a rumor rating, sorry, of nine, because of course, um, it has been a few sources have said it has been confirmed he's been on loan, but it's not actually been fully confirmed by the club yet. So I'm only gonna give it a nine for that. But it looks as if it's basically guaranteed to happen. And also a transfer rating of nine. I think that's a very very good deal for West Ham. They need a really good winger, um, and I think he could help Payet and Ener Valencia and stuff like that during the games. We then go into Carlos Tevez. And this one um, was unexpected. Of course, he said he wanted. I think he said he wanted to end his career at Boca Juniors. It was looking as if he had. Of course, he is there at the moment. All of a sudden, West Ham got in this mad um, offer uh, and offer him one hundred fifty thousand a week. He has said no to that. He said he's only going to go if it's two hundred and fifty thousand pounds a week. He'll get be paying. He'll be getting paid one of the most in the Premier League. Um, the only player I know that's getting more than that, I think, is De Bruyne. It's three hundred thousand. Even Ibrahimovic, who's getting two hundred thousand pounds a week, it'll be more than him. Uh, so I don't know if West Ham will be able to afford it, but. You never know, we'll see what happens. There hasn't been a price of anything. A rumour rating also of 3, because I don't think it's likely, considering West Ham probably won't want to pay that much. And also a transfer rating of 9. It would be a very, very good deal if West Ham could get across the line and make that deal happen. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I've got a lot more already ready for tomorrow's episode. Of course, I am... I'm um, going to be travelling tomorrow, so it won't be uh, maybe as good an episode as you're hoping, but I'll try and make it as good as possible. If you have enjoyed today's video, guys, make sure to smash the like button. If you can hit 20 likes, that would be absolutely insane, guys. Subscribe as well if you're new to the channel, and apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.